Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good evening to everyone. We are from group 11, section 1 and today we're going to present to you about our group project for subject mechanical and electrical system. But before that, my name is Muhammad Shahmi bin Muhammad Shahful Azwai. My metric number DF21002 and this is our group member. For this group presentation, we separate into five parts, which is the first one is introduction, next the mechanical ventilation system, air conditioning, and electrical distribution system. And our last part is conclusion. So without further ado, I will explain to you and present to you about our introduction. Today, mechanical and electrical engineering play a vital role in engineering. Both of them usually work hand in hand. Mechanical engineering can be referred as a combination of engineering physics and mathematics principles with material to analyze, design, manufacture, and maintain mechanical system. Meanwhile, electrical system can be referred as a study, design, and application of materials or equipment that related or involved with electrical or electromagnetism. As in general, as we know in a house, there are few important components such as ventilation, air conditioning, electrical plant, wiring, lighting, socket, and many others. In this part, I will explain to you about ventilation and electrical distribution system. As we know, ventilation is important since it distributes the air within the building that obtained from outdoor and the objective of ventilation is to supply healthy air for the user in the building by removing the pollutants in the building. There are uh, natural ventilation that depends on climate, building design, and human behavior. While the other hand, we have mechanical ventilation which is, is, which is a man-made uh, ventilation or system such as fans. In order to use a suitable mechanical ventilation, first we have to identify the air change rate and make sure the budget of this product is affordable. Furthermore, we have to consider the ventilation rate, brand, and features for the product. Next, an electrical distribution system is a system that delivers electricity to a residential house from local uh, distribution grid. Energy have two sources, which is the first one renewable and non-renewable -renew uh, energy. Engineer have to first design and plan the power supply and distribution system. In this residential case, it connected with power supply system via low voltage cable. So, in this our group project, we are required to identify and select the suitable mechanical ventilation and electrical system to be applied in a typical residential house. But before that, we have to propose our uh, layout plan first. So, as we can see here, uh, this is our proposed plan project. For our group project, we chose two-story res residential house. In this house, we have four bedrooms, two kitchen, four hall with half capacity 10.9 meter wide and 18 meter length. So that's all from me. Thank you and Assalamualaikum. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Mohd Ahmad Bajra bin Yahya. So for, the, for my part, I will uh, present about the mechanical ventilation system. So for first one, for the calculation of volume and area for each location. The first location is bathroom number one, which is located in the first floor. So the volume that we got here is uh, 70.92 uh, meter power of 3 and the area is 4.48 meter uh, power of 2. Then the second location is the bathroom number 2 uh, which lo uh, also located in first floor. So the, the height is 4 meter, the depth is 1.2 and the length is 3.6 meter. So the volume that we got is 70.2 to 8 meter power of 3 and the area is 4.32 meter square. The third one is the bathroom number 3 uh, located in the ground floor uh, in this house. So the volume that we got is 8.27 meter power of 3 and the area is 2.07 meter square. So the last one is the kitchen. So the kitchen area is, uh, the length of kitchen area is 4,950 4, millimeter and the length is, the depth is 3,300 3, millimeter. So the volume is 71.1.28 meter of 3 and the area is 
0.82 meter square. Uh, then the next one is the calculation for uh, to uh, for the flow rate. So we using the formula Q equal to N V uh, per three thousand six hundred. So the first location by number one, uh, we've been given the ACH is ten, and we have calculated the volume is seventy point nine two meter power three. So the uh, flow rate is zero point zero five four nine it's about three per second. So the second one is bathroom number two. So uh, it is the same uh, ACH, which is 10, and the volume is 70.28 meter of three. So the calculated Q is 0 0.048 meter of three per second. Okay, for the bathroom number three, which is located in the ground floor, the given ACH uh, it's still the same. Uh, we are using ten, and the volume uh, that we have calculated is eight point two seven meter per three. So the flow rate uh, in this uh, bathroom number three is zero point zero two three meter per three per second. And lastly, for the kitchen, uh, the given SCH uh, this time is twenty, and the volume that we have calculated just now is seventy one point two eight meter per three. So the flow rate for this uh, for the kitchen is zero point three nine six meter per three per second. Okay. Lastly, for the recommendation uh, of the ventilation system, so we've given uh, we have to find the ventilation system, which the price is not exceed uh two hundred uh ringgit measure. So. For the first look, uh, for the bathroom number one and the bathroom number two, we're using the same ventilation fan, uh, which is the KDK brand with RPM 11, 11.09 until 13.01. So this using motor type four pole and the capacity of 0 0.15 meter power of three per second. So the advantage of this uh, exhaust fan is it can work silently since it has low uh, db and the one the second one is it is strong and large volume the price for this ventilation is 136 ringgit so for the bathroom number three which is located in ground floor the cfm required is 73.02 so we are using the kdk brand model 15 pgqz and the RPM of 13.30. The CFM for this ventilation is 141. Uh, and the motor rating is between 220 until 240 per 50 hertz. The noise level, uh, which is dB, is 35. So the advantage for this ventilation fan is it is high efficiency uh, motor for energy saving. Second one is ball bearing motor for smoother and more durable operation. The price for this uh, ventilation is 108. Uh, this ventilation is shielding mounted ventilation. So the third one for the kitchen is uh, you're using still the KDK brand model 30 AQ M8. The RPM is 1085 until 925. Uh, which CFM CFM seven hundred twenty seven. So for the kitchen area, uh, the CFM required is nine hundred twenty nine point three one. So the advantage for this, uh, ventilation fan is, it is equipped with automatic shutter, and the next one is it is thermal safety fuse. So the uh, price for this ventilation fan is 185 so why are we using why we recommend the kdk brand so kdk brand is specialized in producing a range of ventilation fans uh, it is important to note that kdk fans are frequently meant to be strong and long lasting to assure their dependability and performance through time so this is crucial feature to take into account when picking a ventilation fence since we want a device that can survive constant use. 
This fan also provide a variety of types, size, and accommodate various requirements and areas. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Nur Izzati Nabila Benti Roslan, number metric DF210047 and I will present to you regarding the mechanical ventilation system for the new kitchen area. Area for the new kitchen is 19.6 uh, meters square and multiply with the height of the wall which is 4 meter result in the volume 78.4 meters square. As per requested from the project instruction, the minimum SCH for kitchen area is 20. Therefore, multiply with it and divide with 3600 result in 0 0.436 meters square per second. Next, uh, the flow rate change to CFM, which is a cubic feet per minute, will result in uh, 923 CFM. However, we still use the same brand and same model of exhaust fan for kitchen and new kitchen area because the requirement for the CFM required in the kitchen is low and the CFM provided by the exhaust fan is exceed the requirement. Therefore, it can help to flow the hot air from the new kitchen area to outside. It is also affordable and provide good performance of exhaust fan. Next, air conditioning system. These are the table that we are going to refer as we do the calculation. For the first icon, we decided to locate it in room 3 at the ground floor. And the room size is 139.5 feet square. And by referring to table 1, it shows that we need to use the 5000 British Thermal Unit BTU since the value is in range 100 to 150 feet square. Then adjustment is needed where the room is very sunny and we need to add 10% to the energy requirement and result in 5,500. The number of person that will be using the room is 1 and we need to add 600 BTU per person and the total BTU needed for the aircon is 6,100 and round it up to 7,000 BTU. By referring to table 2, it shows that the aircon we needed to use is uh, 1 HP aircon and the calculation is the same as for the aircon 2 which is located in master bedroom and aircon 3 that is located in room 1 at first floor. Therefore, we chose an LG brand air conditioner because it has a dual inverter compressor which helps to chill the air more quickly and reducing energy usage. And the aircon offers many good features that give advantages to the user. And the price for the LG air conditioner is 1,949 ringgit Malaysia, which totally in the budget. That's all from me. I will pass this presentation to my friend. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Farid Mirzal bin Abdul Halim. And today I will explain about the electrical plan of our house. So uh, one of the importance of the electrical plan is it helps to ensure the power system to run safely, efficiently and smoothly. Electrical plan also can help in identifying potential risks that can need in the but before they become a problem. So this is example of our electrical plan at the ground floor. Next, this is the electrical plan for for the first floor of our house. There are a few electrical appliances that I have added in this electrical plan. Some of the electrical appliances are fan, lamp, and water heater. The arrow on the fan and the lamp show where the switch of its electrical appliances located. For example, for this fan, the switch is located at here, and the lamp. The switch is located at here. For the entire electrical plan, it is the same. Next, for important component in the electrical plan is the distribution box or DB. Distribution box is important because it will show the distribution of the electrical appliances. For example, for this is the distribution box for the ground floor of our house. At the above, it will show the distribution of the of the lamp, of the fan, and other electrical appliances that are directly to the distribution box. At the below, it will show the distribution through the socket, three pin sockets. Last but not least, this is the distribution box for the first floor of our house plan. 
So that's all from me. Thank you.